The Webb telescope has just found some clues that may lead to the idea that the entire universe might actually be inside a black hole. In 2023, the Webb Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES, captured unprecedented images of extremely distant galaxies. When scientists analyzed the rotation patterns of these galaxies, they found something bizarre. Computer scientist Lior Shamir and his team at Kansas State University discovered that approximately two-thirds of observed galaxies rotate clockwise, while only one-third rotate counterclockwise. In a cosmic neighborhood with no preferred direction, what physicists call an isotropic universe, we should see a perfectly random distribution, 50% spinning one way, 50% the other. It would be like flipping a coin hundreds of times and getting heads twice as often as tails. When that happens, you start to suspect the coin might be rigged. Similarly, this galactic spin preference suggests something might be rigging our universe. This discovery kinda contradicts decades of observations suggesting the universe is largely uniform in all directions. The cosmic microwave background radiation, the echo of the Big Bang, shows almost perfect uniformity across the sky. So what's going on? According to our standard model of cosmology, about 13.8 billion years ago, all matter and energy in the universe was compressed into an incredibly hot, dense state. Then, in an instant, it began expanding rapidly in all directions. As the universe expanded and cooled, matter began to clump together due to gravity. First, hydrogen and helium formed, then stars, then galaxies. This process should be essentially random, with no preferred direction built into the cosmos. The spin direction of galaxies should be completely random, determined by the local conditions when they formed. And that's exactly what previous studies had suggested. So why are distant galaxies showing this unexpected pattern? Why do we see a clear preference for clockwise rotation? Some physicists are turning to one of the most radical ideas in cosmology. What if our entire universe exists inside a black hole? This is a serious scientific hypothesis with a surprisingly long history. The concept was initially proposed by theoretical physicist Raj Kumar Pathria in the early 1970s. In the standard model, the universe began as a singularity, a point of indefinite density where the laws of physics break down. In black hole cosmology, our universe formed from matter collapsing into a black hole in a larger parent universe. Instead of being destroyed at the singularity, the matter bounced and began expanding creating our universe inside the black hole's event horizon. But how could a whole universe possibly fit inside a black hole? And what does this have to do with spinning galaxies? When matter falls into a black hole in conventional physics, it's crushed toward a singularity, a point of infinite density where space and time cease to exist as we understand them. This has always been a problematic concept because infinities in physics often indicate that our theories are breaking down. But what if something else happens when you compress matter to extreme densities? Quantum physics suggests that at the smallest scales, strange effects come into play. These quantum effects might prevent the formation of a true singularity. Instead of matter being crushed into oblivion, it could reach a maximum density and then bounce back, expanding outward again, but in a way that's only detectable from inside the black hole. From the outside, in the parent universe, the black hole appears as a normal black hole with a defined size based on its mass. But inside, an entire expanding universe could be unfolding with its own space and time. Think of it like a balloon inside another balloon. The mathematics of general relativity actually allows for this. The interior space of a black hole can be vastly larger than it appears from the outside because space and time work differently across the event horizon. This concept creates a fascinating possibility. Our universe might exist inside a black hole, which itself exists in another universe. And the black holes in our universe might each contain other universes. It's like cosmic Russian nesting dolls. But how does this connect to the Webb Telescope's discovery about galaxy rotation? The key is in the type of black hole our universe might be inside. 
Most black holes in nature aren't static, they rotate, and a rotating black hole would impart some of its properties to the universe forming inside it. In physics, a rotating black hole is called a Kerr black hole, named after mathematician Roy Kerr, who solved Einstein's equations for rotating black holes in 1963. These objects don't just pull matter in, they swirl it around like cosmic whirlpools. Rotating black holes create an effect called frame dragging, where they literally drag the fabric of space-time around them as they spin. If our universe formed inside a rotating black hole, this parent rotation could have imparted a subtle but fundamental directionality to our entire cosmos. This inherent spin could influence how matter clumps together and how galaxies form. Physicist Nikodem Poplowski has developed this idea using einstein cartan theory, which extends Einstein's general relativity to include the property of torsion in space-time. In this model, the torsion creates a repulsive force that causes the bounce instead of a singularity. This could explain exactly what Webb is seeing, a preference for galaxy rotation in one direction over the other. If our parent black hole rotates clockwise from our perspective, we might expect to see more galaxies in our universe rotating clockwise as well. It's not that counterclockwise galaxies can't form, they obviously can, since we observe them. But the underlying rotational influence of our parent black hole might make clockwise rotation more probable, leading to the roughly two-thirds majority that Webb has observed. What makes this even more compelling is that this effect should be more pronounced in the earliest galaxies, formed when the universe was young, and the imprint of the parent black hole's rotation would be strongest. As the universe ages and complex interactions occur, this effect might become diluted. Of course, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Are there other ways to explain what Webb is seeing without invoking cosmic Russian nesting dolls? Good science demands that we consider all possible explanations, especially the more conventional ones, before leaping to revolutionary conclusions. So what else might explain the asymmetry in galactic rotation? One possibility is observational bias. The methods used to determine galaxy rotation directions involve complex image analysis. It's possible that something in the way the data was collected or processed could introduce a systematic bias favoring one rotation direction. For instance, the viewing angle of galaxies can make their rotation direction harder to determine. If there were subtle biases in which galaxies were included in the analysis, this could potentially skew the results. Critics point out that previous studies haven't found such a pronounced asymmetry. Different research teams using different telescopes and methods have generally found a more even distribution of galaxy spins. Another explanation could involve large-scale cosmic structures we don't fully understand yet. The universe contains massive filaments and voids that form a cosmic web. If our local region of the universe has some large-scale motion or structure, this could potentially influence galaxy formation in ways that create an apparent rotational preference. Some physicists have proposed that the universe itself might have an intrinsic handedness or chirality at a fundamental level. Not because we're in a black hole, but due to other aspects of physics we don't yet understand. It's also worth noting that while the web sample is groundbreaking, it's still limited in scope. The results are based on 263 galaxies with identifiable rotation, a remarkable achievement, but still a tiny fraction of the billions of galaxies in the observable universe. If we truly live inside a black hole, it would fundamentally transform our understanding of cosmic origins and structure. Instead of the universe beginning from a mysterious singularity, it would represent a continuation of a longer cosmic cycle. Each generation of universes could potentially have slightly different physical properties. Some might be more conducive to forming complex structures and life than others. It's important to emphasize that black hole cosmology remains speculative. It's frontier science, an idea at the edges of our understanding that needs rigorous testing and verification. But that's exactly how science advances, by exploring surprising observations and considering radical explanations. Throughout history, observations that didn't fit established models have often led to revolutionary breakthroughs. From Copernicus realizing Earth orbits the Sun, to Einstein discovering that gravity warps space-time, 
paradigm shifts often begin with unexplained anomalies. If black hole cosmology proves correct, it reveals a profound cosmic cycle of creation and regeneration. Matter isn't destroyed at singularities, but transformed into new universes. Our existence would be part of an endless cosmic recycling process, connecting us to a larger multiverse structure. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.